Hello, I'm Kevin, and this is The Real Way to Make Money Online. So this week, it's all about Merch by Amazon Ads. I've been reading in uh, Facebook groups. A lot of people have been getting access to ads now, and it's down to Tier 500, just in time for Q4, which I'll get to in a little bit. So why use ads? Number one reason, they work. If anyone tells you they don't work, well, they either had a bad experience, which I will show you how to avoid, or they're just trying to scare you away so their uh, ad costs don't go up. But yes, they do work. Uh, not all of them. But I'll show you how to minimize the damage on the ones that don't work. Speaking of the ones that don't work, you've got to be careful with your ads. You need to check them every day. Make sure your spend isn't going through the roof without getting sales. Uh, there was... Now, I've known this for years because I did, uh, I still do, KDP ads also. So I've known you have to check daily, and I know it can go crazy at any time. But still, there was a uh, time about a year ago, maybe less. I didn't check my ads for at least a week. And that was a big mistake. I had one ad going crazy, people clicking, and nobody, nobody bought. I spent $30, 30 dollars 30 33 with no buys. I lost all 30 I just call it $30. Because I didn't check. So that, that kicked me in the, kicked me in the nether regions. So hopefully that uh, lets you know it's serious. Uh, now with Q4 coming up, you've got to be very, very careful. I would check more than once a day because it goes crazy. Uh, my first year, I'm on, I've had ads for a couple years now. And uh, the first Q4 totally shocked me. You know, I was checking my ads. They're, they're doing good, so. You know, I killed the ones that weren't doing good. But still, I wasn't keeping track of my uh, total cost. And uh, that was back tier 500, I think. Maybe 1,000. And uh, it was well over $200. My bill in December. That hurt me. Now, I made enough money to cover it but the thing with ads you pay for the ads before you get the money from what they made so like December you know I made I don't know don't remember how much but more than enough to cover it but I didn't get paid for that till the end of January but the bill for December is due at the beginning of January so you've got to have enough money to cover before you get paid. The second year, I thought I was prepared. I knew knew what was coming. It was worse because I was in a higher tier, had more ads, and my bill was astronomical. Luckily, I had enough money to cover it, but I was hurting that month. Be very, very careful on Q4, and I'll show you how to check... Uh, your current ad spend so you can keep an eye on that too and uh, if it gets too much you can just turn off all your ads you can put ads on just about everything with the exceptions of politics alcohol uh, marijuana you know the vices um, oh and swear words now I do know a guy who was able to get an ad on a Trump shirt and I was shocked. 
because I've tried and I've tried and I get they get denied every time but his got through and and man did he kick some tail on that one he got a ton of sales so I guess you can try maybe it'll slip through but I, I've given up trying uh, I think he just got lucky okay most of you will go here your advertising tab or your advertise tab uh, I don't use that in fact I just got it a little while ago I use this one here I can't click on it because it'll show my designs this is from this uh, extension here merch ad automator and you can see it says uh, create AMS ads on the fly spend less time creating ads true and take your Amazon merch business to the next level also true but uh, that extension does cost money I don't remember how much but it is faster so when you get to your uh, campaign uh, so this is sponsored products not the other I can't remember can't even remember what the other one is called but uh, one thing that uh, extension does like if I click on this it'll show my designs and it'll have a button over here create ad and then it will take me straight here and it will have the uh, title filled out it's the title of the shirt plus the ASIN okay start date is always filled out uh, always no end date daily budget five dollars which you will almost never hit or even come close to if you do this right uh, except Q4 I've hit, I've hit budgets in Q4 and on uh, a few uh, new trends so beginners automatic targeting manual targeting you pick your own keywords uh, but automatic does okay especially for beginners get your feet wet dynamic bids down only that means okay if you start your bid at uh, well you used to be able to start them at 12 cents not anymore now I'm 20 20 cents 21 cents your ad will cost 21 cents every time someone clicks on it unless it's cheaper if the bids are only at like say 12 cents well, it'll only cost you 12 cents if you do dynamic bids up and down well they will say if you're doing 20 cents but you can get an ad placement at 25 cents it'll go up to 25 that can start hurting and then fixed bids is like always 20 cents so I'm always on dynamic bids down only okay ad group name at just leave that always the same here you could type in your ASIN or uh, title make sure that's a uh, showing click the search button or I think you can click enter in here too uh-huh so my default is 23 cents and negative keyword targeting uh, I can't think of any for for merch so this is kind of the same as negative keyword uh, I've never used it then you will hit launch campaign it will take you to a screen saying uh, it's been uploaded successfully or whatever but to check on them you come here and click on campaigns and this uh, shows my total ad spend sales that, that's the uh, that's the sale price of the uh, shirt so if I'm signing $16.99 you know it adds $16.99 to this not how much you made 
ROAS is fairly new. The revenue you receive from your advertising investment. This is calculated by dividing sales attributed to your ads by your spend. Attribution varies by campaign style. The lower this number, the better. And coming down here is where you can check. Um, like this one here. Wow. Oh, they're screwing me. Here's one thing you got to check. Even though I put 23 cents, sometimes it goes through as the default at 75 cents. So to fix that, you got to come here, click on the ad, add automator, targeting. See that? They screwed me. So you gotta click in there, change it to 23, and hit save. That is messed up. I've emailed about it, emailed them about that, and they tell me it's my fault that I I changed something. And no, I did not. It hasn't done it in a while, so I figured they fixed it. These two hardly ever get clicks. So yeah, that that hurt. Oh geez, this one too. Okay, I'll cut this out. I gotta fix this too. So normally if I saw something 277 and no, no sales, I would turn this ad off, which you can do just by clicking that button there. This one's okay. These are all new, by the way. There's the other one. I had a uh, filter on. So a lot of these weren't showing. I was wondering where. <laughs> I had some ads that weren't showing. Okay, so. This one's still okay. I'll leave that alone. That's my new meme, both of these. Both. Still doing good. Now here's one. I turned off. Dollar 35, no sales, killed it. Both of these, $2. Sometimes I'll go up to $3, but uh, depends on the shirt and if it's a trend. If it's a trend, like these two were trends, I'm not going to let them go to $3. Okay, I remember this one. I turned it off and then it got a sale. It showed a sale. So I turned it back on. And it spent like another $2 with no sales, so I just killed it. No time for that. Now you see, most of these are turned off. And if they aren't making money, kill them. Don't get married to your ad. This is another one. Got a sale right away. And then, you know, the spend just kept going up, 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 up. So we got near $6. And I just killed it. Okay, so this one would normally still be on. But it's 4th of July. Uh, this one's Memorial Day. That's Memorial Day. So next year I'll turn them back on. You've got to go at least $16.99 to make money. If you're doing $13.07 and running ads on that, more power to you, but you're losing money. So I've got 200 results per page. I've got 486 ads. Not all open. So to check your spend and that reports you can get a report and it'll show you what keywords people are clicking on and then you can do a customized keywords and just use those billing and payments is uh, 
what we want. So there it shows my current balance is seventy-two dollars and twenty-five cents, and that's with what seven days to go, eight days, eight days left in the month. So I'll easily go over a hundred. And uh, yeah, if this was. Uh, November, December, it'd be a lot higher. Okay, so just remember, Q4 will hurt you if you're not prepared for it. Check your ads daily. Uh, Q4, you might want to check them more, more than once a day. If you're, uh, if you spent a dollar and you got no sales, you want to start watching that one better. Um, around between two and three dollars, if there's no sales, I'll, I'll kill it. Just turn it off. Um, there's there's been a few where I've turned off the ads and then it starts selling organically. Yeah, if you don't pay attention to your ads, you will become one of the horror stories. Or you will get one like mine. I've had a few actually. Uh, that one for thirty, thirty-three dollars, that was the worst. If you have any questions, drop a comment, and I will answer it. That's it for this video. If you made it to the end, let me know in the comments. If you like what you saw, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you next time.